Bombora's intent topic taxonomy continues to grow to provide a broader view of B2B companies, products, services, and trends. Curating the right intent topics is the foundation to a strong intent marketing strategy. When selecting your Bombora intent topics and creating intent topic clusters, there are a few important things to consider. Let's start by defining an intent topic. An intent topic describes the nature of the online content. It's derived from deep learning and natural language processing models that understand the content and assign it to an intent topic. Bombora's taxonomy of intent topics are related to B2B products, services, pain points, and trends. An intent topic cluster is a set of like-minded topics. By grouping like-minded topics together, you can get a stronger understanding of intent for your target businesses. There are a few categories of intent topic clusters you may want to explore. Start by thinking about the different products that you sell. What are the problems those products solve? The key functions and messages you want to communicate with your prospect. Each product offering should have its own intent topic cluster. For example, at Bombora, we'd be interested in topics related to Bombora, company search intent data, or intent marketing. This intent topic cluster is core to your business and is relevant for all potential use cases. Then think about your competitors. This can include competitor or partner names, product or service names that you want to monitor that can provide you insight into your competitive set. This would be your second set of intent topic clusters. For Bombora, we might include some of our partners such as LinkedIn, Salesforce, HubSpot, and Marketo. This intent topic cluster is typically used for mid to bottom of the funnel use cases, such as sales enablement, event management, and lead generation. Then consider any specific industries, verticals, or use cases that you support. For example, at Bombora, we'd be interested in topics related to technology verticals and use cases such as account-based marketing, demand generation, or marketing automation. This would be your third set of intent topic clusters that's typically used for top of the funnel use cases such as digital advertising, email marketing, and sales prioritization. Finally, consider any specific pain points or business issues or outcomes you have for the personas that you market to. For example, at Bombora, we market primarily to other B2B marketers that focus on customer acquisition, effective selling, lead tracking, and might be concerned about customer churn or profitability. This would be your fourth set of intent topic clusters, and it's typically used for top to mid funnel activity like digital advertising, marketing automation, and sales prioritization. A few other general best practices to consider when selecting your intent topics and curating your clusters. First, don't be too broad. Focus on topics that really signal interest for your products or services and tells you what message or nurture path makes the most sense for those prospects. Next, consider your use case. For top of funnel use cases, your clusters can be larger and a little bit broader. While you may want to be more prescriptive and selective with your mid to lower funnel use cases. And finally, each cluster should inform a content or messaging strategy that goes with it. If it doesn't, then you should really question whether or not you need that cluster. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions or would like to learn more about curating your intent topics, please reach out to your Bombora Customer Success Manager.